Senator Joni Ernst also reacting to the report today. Her statement reads that she has long called for the report to be made public and she looks forward to reviewing it. And with us now are Eric Wilson, a Republican political strategist, and Tom Henderson. Welcome, a former political or Polk County Democratic Party chair. So this report has only been out for a couple of hours, over 400 pages. What are your initial thoughts on this? Well, we're trying to consume this as quickly as possible, just like everybody else is. But my initial thoughts are, one, that they have given us so many previews about the report that it must have some embarrassing things in there for the president. And two, at the end of the day, it's not going to make any difference whether he's charged with a crime or not. It's more the optics of it. Just like Clinton was left with the optics of having an affair, mm -hmm. I think this is going to leave the president with the optics that he doesn't have honesty or integrity. Okay. I think to Tom's point, I think of the story of the elephant and the blind men. There's something for everyone in this report. The one blind man touches the elephant trunk and says it's a snake. The other one touches the ear, says it's a fan. The other one touches, uh, uh, you, you know, the 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 the, the uh, trunk, the, the leg, and says it's a tree trunk. And so uh, I think the Democrats see what they want to see in this report. The Republicans see what they want to see in the report. The president says there's no collusion. The Democrats say we need to continue the investigation. I think that's exactly what we're going to see for months ahead. Right, picking out pieces. Um, so now, what do you think is going to be next? What will continue uh, to invest? Will Congress continue to investigate the president? As you said, they've kind of been picking at this report. One of the major lines that I continue to see is him saying, this is the end of my presidency when he finds out okay, Mueller is going to be appointed. Mm -hmm. So what do you think is going to happen now? Mm -hmm. uh, again, I think the Congress, the Democrats in Congress are going to ask for additional information. The president's going to resist. We may see some, uh, some of this case end up in court with the, the release of certain information or the refusal to release information. Uh, but I, I think that, uh, uh, you know, again, it's kind of time to say, uh, let's move on. Uh, the, there's there's no collusion. That was what the initial uh, 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 scope of the investigation was. Let's move on and let's get some other work done. Okay. There's two things that are left. Uh, one is there's a lot of redactions, blacked out parts. Mm -hmm. There'll be a fight over that. Uh, some of them they'll try to get unredacted. The second thing is there's a second report that no one's asked for. Uh, Mueller had to uh, you know confer with the attorney general with regard to request for information mm -hmm. if they told him no he has to prepare a report about what was said what he was denied access to okay. too and that's another report we haven't seen that either mm -hmm. okay well lastly what impact will this have or will it have any on the 2020 mm -hmm. campaign in iowa I, I think it's the optics of it. I think mm -hmm. it will have an impact because of the optics of the report making the president look less than honest. Right. Mm -hmm. Tell me back to what you initially Hardens said. the battle lines. Republicans are going to support the president more. Democrats are gonna, going to oppose him even more. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Well, we will continue to go through this report and bring you key findings and more reaction. That's tonight on KCCI.